This is a model of a Shadif. I will explain why they built the Shadif and the importance of it. The importance of it was to scoop up the water, put it in the irrigation channel to water the crops. The doof is mostly made for because um, you can't go to a higher um, place and walk down to the River Nile with a bucket and walk back up to make, so they made the Shadoof to make it easier. There was an irrigation channel for when you collect the water from the River Nile and pour it into it and then they made um, holes for the water to go down to get to the crops. The shadoofs were most needed in a, in a drought when there was very low water. Surprisingly, this happens in the winter, not the summer. <coughs> and, and there are two different tunnels where you can get to the crops. There's one that goes, uh, that goes straight to the middle of the crops and there's one that turns to the side of the crops. Obviously, we have used modern materials, but the Egyptians would not have. We've used plastic cups here, but they probably would have built their irrigation channels out of wood or papyrus. We've used the cut down paper cup, but they would have used buckets, a bit like papyrus baskets, to collect the water from the Nile. They used papyrus plants to attach things and to make string because they wouldn't have used glue or sellotape. They used mud to the surround the, the shadoof because then it would be stable and nothing, it would, wouldn't fall over. The effort arm is the most shortest because the resistance arm can lift, it will be more easier to make it go to the water. The, the, the pieces that they used for the effort arm and the resistance arm was wood from trees near the River Nile because it was all rich and everything was growing. The resistance arm was like acting like a lever because then it's easier to pour into the irrigation channel to get to the crops. A shadoof is an extremely ancient invention. The Romans, a few years onwards, made some sort of spinning wheel that would go into the water, collect it up, and then pour it out into their irrigation channels. We had to attach a counterweight to the end of the lever and label everything what we made. <coughs> to make it clear that it's a shadoof, we put um, water that side where the bucket is uh, and labelled it the River Nile, crops that side uh, to, and um, we put an irrigation channel so the um, water, once you get the water you put it into the irrigation channel, it goes all the way to the crops and then it waters the crops and, um, and that's how a shadoof works. <coughs> Now we're going to leave the audience with a question. Do you think the Egyptians could have survived without a shadoof?